So welcome back to the channel everyone, it's Bevan here from Harness Link again. We've got a good night of harness racing coming up from Addington tonight. Although it looks like it's going to be a wet track, we've got rain forecast to fall most of today and it's already been raining overnight so it uh, looks like a wet surface in store. Be sure to hit that subscribe button to get all the value information on New Zealand harness racing and remember all thoughts are my own opinion and you should also make sure you bet within your limits. OK, let's get right into it. Right, we've found some decent value in the trotting races tonight at Addington. Uh, starting off with race one and a horse who's come back well from a breaker's gold chain. Now she's trained and driven by uh, Bob Butt and won a workout easily a week ago at Rangiora. She's currently about 4.80 and $1.90 for a place on the fixed odds and we think she'll get a good run through from the second row draw. She's our top selection in race one. On to race four, and another trotter I am quite keen on is number two, Caress. Now this filly got home well from the back of the field at her last start, and I think she's going to land a bit closer to the speed in this race. I thought the sixes and twos was pretty good money for her, and I reckon she's worth backing at those odds. The next runner I want to talk about is Midnight Dash in race nine. This Muscle Hill gelding was an easy winner last start and he steps up in grade a bit for this race but he's only one of five runners off the front which I think is going to be a help with a big field and wet track. Horses like Matuatana, the favourite, could struggle to get around the big field on that wet track and I think Midnight Dash is pretty good value currently at 11 and $3.50 for the place on the fixed. Well that's it for tonight's value runners, but check out the Harness Link website for a brief rundown on all races tonight at Addington, and check in for tomorrow's video for the value at Invercargill on Saturday. We'll see you then.